It was a video of a pet dog being brutally punched and hit by a volunteer at a vetic clinic in Thane near Mumbai just a few days ago. The poor fluffy little animal was helpless and it showed two staffers of the vetic chain beating and punching this dog. The breed is apparently called a chow chow. A man who's filming the act was also seen landing blows on the helpless animal as it struggled. The viral video, as you can imagine, triggered huge anger and outrage on the internet against the individuals who've since been arrested, but also the company. After a police complaint, both accused were arrested. We are happy to report, however, that Tofu, that is the little animal's name in the video, is doing okay. He's had to be rehabilitated for a little while, but he's now doing okay. And I'm also pleased to tell you for an update uh, on the dog's well-being, on Tofu's well-being, we're joined by none other than the dog parent of Tofu, Varun Seth. Uh, he's Tofu's uh, parent, uh, and he's been kind enough to be with us today here on India Today. Varun, welcome. Uh, of, uh, you know, I'm so sorry, first of all, for what happened to your dog. Uh, you know, your dog has become a national hero for so many of us because everyone has has felt so bad about what happened uh, to poor little Tufu. Can you tell us, first of all, Varun, how is he doing right now? How is your dog doing right now? He's doing well. Uh, he's with me. He's just very camera shy. So he's uh, staying away from the, the cameras. Um, no worries. That's fine. But he's doing better. He's doing well. Um, he's having some trouble eating food because he got punched pretty badly on the face. And he's had some trouble uh, with his walk as well. Uh, which we have started along this. I think that is, that is something that... Uh, Varun, what happened? Can you take us through the whole sequence of events? What happened? So on 7th February, I booked an appointment on the wedding app uh, for a bath and a haircut for the door. Um, I went to the clinic at around 3.30, 3.45 uh, to drop him off at the clinic. And uh, mm -hmm. normally... Even before this, I have uh, taken Tofu for grooming session. Then I stay for the entire grooming session. He's, he's a very mm. furry dog, so he takes about two and a half, three hours for the entire grooming session. Uh, normally, I do stay for the entire session. I make it a point to stay there. Um, this time, um, I had my wedding on 12th February and 13th February. So, obviously, there were a lot of things that I had to do at my head. Um, and the wedding staff was also, they also told me that they do not allow pet parents inside because pets can get dominating, aggressive, etc. Uh, so I was specifically asked to stay out of the uh, grooming sector. Um, then after waiting for half an hour, then I thought I'll go and finish up my chores and pick him up a couple of hours later. Um, so when I went to pick him up at 7, he seemed okay. He just seemed very drained, uh, very exhausted and very lethargic. Um, you know, at that point, I thought maybe it is, you know, the fact that he was standing for three hours, the fact that it's a long session, etc. That could have tired him out. Uh, but now I realize that it was more mentally drained than anything else. Um, and then I came back home and the video went viral on 13 February. The, the afternoon of 13 February, I saw the video of friend shared it with me on WhatsApp. Mm. And uh, that is how I got to know about this incident. I was in the middle of my These guys who beat Tofu, time. Varun, the guys who beat Tofu, they themselves posted that video online? No, I got it from a friend of mine. I don't know how it became viral. Uh, I know that there, there are uh, a lot of dog community pages uh, you know, posted it on Instagram and that's how uh, the post went viral. Uh, mm. But I got the video through a WhatsApp forward from a friend of mine who was you know, incessantly calling me to let me know about this. But unfortunately, I was in the middle of a wedding ritual at that time. I couldn't yes. pick up the call. Um, yeah. What next now, Varun? You know, because uh, you know I'm a dog parent as well, and uh, this kind of thing is uh, is is truly uh, truly troubling and dis disturbing, and it kind of uh, confirms many people's worst fears about leaving your dog alone with other people. Uh, uh, you know, uh, are you following up on the police case? These two guys have been arrested now. Uh, have the police said what action is going to be taken against them, and why were they doing this? Is there an explanation at all? Um, so why were they doing this? Uh, I met the two guys in jail, uh, in, at the police station, sorry. And uh, honestly, I could not find a single bit of remorse in their eyes. Um, in fact, one of the guys, the main, the, the, the lanky fellow who was actually hitting him, I mm. think he's done this before to other pets as well. Um, uh, regarding the police case, originally there was a 
non cognizable offense in NC, which was filed by Pane Municipal Corporation. And, um, you know, PETA has gotten involved as well. Um, so, yesterday, uh, you know, uh, PFA, PETA, a lot of uh, organizations are involved. Uh, uh, there was a lot of political pressure as well, obviously, local MLA Pratap Sarnai. Um, hmm. So, you know, a lot of those factors have actually uh, helped and, and cops have registered an FIR yesterday. Uh, complaint has gone to uh, PETA. Um, we had, I had a clear discussion with PETA and, and they told me that they have much better resources than I can provide and yeah. they are much more aware about the matter and they will ensure that the right uh, course of law is taken, the right punishment is meted out to these perpetrators as well. So I was very happy to let them be the first complainants in this FIR. How has it changed, uh, you know, how you view, uh, you know, being a dog parent and a dog owner, Varun? Uh, but, you know, because uh, I, I can imagine after, you know, seeing something like this, you probably never want to leave Tofu, uh, you know, alone with anyone else ever again. Well, absolutely not. I think one thing's for sure, I'm getting a groomer at my home and getting him groomed, or I'm grooming him personally. I'm never taking him to another grooming session ever again. Um, I think all of these pet care institutions, right, they have a, uh, they should have a sense of uh, uh, responsibility in the sense that they should hire people who are animal lovers, they should do thorough background verifications, they should have CCTV cameras installed, um, you know, they should have right licenses and, and all those basic guidelines that are essential. Because at the end of the day, um, you are in a pet care industry. Um, you know, the, the basic foundation of it is the fact that people trust you with the, the lives of their pets or the lives of their, in fact, not even pets, they're, they're more like family to us. So, yeah. you know, there are, I would say, there always a sense of responsibility in the fact that they should double check everything. They should ensure that, you know, the benchmarks are set really high when it comes to quality standards, etc. Has the, has the company Vetic reached out to you? You know, we did see their owner put out an apology message. Uh, uh, you know, have, have they reached out to you? Uh, have they said anything to you? W you know, what does that look like, Varun? Uh, no, absolutely not. I haven't really heard any uh, from Vetic yet. Uh, I've heard one call from, I don't know, from a random person who claimed to be from Vetic, asking me about the health of uh, tofu. Uh, but that was it, and that was a brief two-minute conversation. I haven't heard anything from Vetic, honestly. In fact, uh, when I went to pick up tofu on uh, seven, they convinced me to buy an additional uh, three-session pack. Um, you know, they sold me uh, a couple of additional sessions for a certain amount of cost, um, which of course I'm never going to take in my life. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's 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 uh, been that, but I haven't heard anything from Vetic yet. You know, the, the weird thing, Varun, uh, you know, about those who don't, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, and I'm not differentiating here, but those who don't own dogs or own pets is that, um, uh, is that they don't understand when, you know, people like you or people like me, I'm also a dog parent, like I said, uh, seeing a video like this, uh, uh, you know, is like seeing your own child being beaten. You know, am I exaggerating when I say that? Absolutely not. Uh, they're as much a part of your family as anyone else is. Uh, in fact... Uh, you know, the amount of love that they, that they show you on a day-to-day -day basis, they're just, just such an important part, such an important member of your family. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really unfortunate. I think what has happened is uh, recently there have been spate of incidents uh, where we've seen street dogs being bullied by kids, stones being pelted on them, you know, kids beating dogs with sticks. Um, there was a very recent case very close to where I live where a society did not allow a pregnant uh, uh, a female dog who delivered within the society complex. In fact, mm. he died, uh, you know, in that process. There have been multiple incidents, which is why I think when Tofu's incident came to light, there was so much heartache within people and there was so much anger within people that it all came out on social media. Um, yeah. I think if you look at the longer, the bigger picture, uh, our animal protection laws have to be much more stricter. Um, and, you know, there have to be uh, amendments made to the existing uh, provisions uh, so that criminals are deterred from, uh, uh, you know, doing this. It's, it's become more a trend. I see this uh, teenagers trying to become famous, uh, yeah. try to shoot videos like this. Even in this case, um, you know, this was recorded with the intention of having fun, with the intention Correct. of putting it out on social media or sending it out to your friends, etc. So I think this is becoming a, a problem, uh, you know, for all of us.
And I uh, will, uh, we will end by wishing uh, Tofu the very best. Uh, you know, all of us uh, feel like we know little Tofu. We wish him the best of health. We hope he makes a you know, full recovery physically and mentally. I'm sure he's also traumatized by what has happened, as are you. And Varun, congratulations on your wedding. To you and your family, we wish you happiness with Tofu and onward. And thank you for your time, and thank you for taking our questions here on India Today. Wishing you the best.